we have an update now to a story we brought you last month about a man who died inside a Clinton County jail cell. Tonight, his mother says she'll be filing a lawsuit. Darlin Horn spoke with her and her lawyer, and she is here for you now with the very latest on this and what they have to say tonight. So, Darlin, what can you tell us? What are the updates that you have for us? Siobhan, 29-year-old Christopher Fisher was taken into custody on December 13th for an outstanding warrant. The next morning, Fisher got the worst news of her life, and almost three weeks later, she still does not know how he died. It gives me a hug, goodbye, and kiss me. And... Eight hours later, she would find out that would be the last time she saw her son. There's a mama bear, and like they take her young away, and she's like freaking out, going crazy. That's what I feel. Hale's son, 29-year-old Christopher Fisher, who worked in construction by day and as a musician in his spare time, was found dead just a day after his arrest. He was healthy, nothing wrong with him, so I'd say. How, how did this happen? You know, and not having any answers, that's what's killing me too. Michigan State Police pulled Fisher over and arrested him on an outstanding warrant from Washtenaw County. Fisher was being held at the Clinton County Jail waiting to be transferred. Sheriff's officials say the next day an on-site nurse and corrections officer found him unresponsive and performed life-saving measures, but he died in his cell that he shared with four or five other inmates. Sheriff Sean Dush says he believes his death is related to a medical issue, but state police are still investigating. Autopsy results are expected in the next few weeks. But for Hale, she's still left wondering what happened. And then part of me is like, do I even want to know? Like, it's not going to change nothing. It doesn't change nothing. Even though she's left to pick up the pieces, she's glad to have family and friends by her side as she grieves. You know, it's not going to bring my son back, but maybe it'll help somebody else's family before, you know, prevent this from happening again. Now, Hill's lawyer says they're planning to file a lawsuit against Clinton County and anyone else responsible for Fisher's safety while he was in custody. Hale says the family is trying to raise money for a memorial service, so if you want to help out with that, there's a link on our website for a GoFundMe on WLNS.com.